I mean, some people have, some parties have certainly been disappointed, I would say, by how well the UK has held up the economy and the property market. Um, there was certainly a lot of opportuni opportunistic international capital that was immediately looking at the UK. Um, but most of it went away again because it simply couldn't find the discounts that it was expecting to find. I mean, we've seen a very similar thing with what's happened with the retail funds. Obviously, it was very high profile when so many had to gate. Um, but actually, they've been very successful in making orderly sales. And we're actually now seeing positive net inflows into those funds. And it's meaning that some of the assets they had on the market, they can actually withdraw from the market. So from some participants' point of view, actually what we've seen is, is very disappointing. It's not the sort of correction that they would have wanted to see. And I think this is sort of setting out the scene for what we're going to get over the next few years. We talk a lot about the uncertainty, but really I think what we're looking at from Brexit is a, is a slow burn where you get sort of news drip-fed. I mean, the last time we really had any news on it was, was at the Conservative Party conference. We haven't really had anything new since then. Um, and it is going to be that slow burn with small bits of information coming out gradually and maybe moving the market when they do.